power. I can do that with an napalm ball. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's tough to do. It is tough to do. Miller has it once. It's a 92 Wichita Open. Wants to end that today. There's the seven pin. The 10 pin gets knocked out in the half pocket hit, but the seven pin stands. You see that a lot with guys who hook the ball. He certainly is one of them. Watch the 10 pin. It'll get knocked out by the six, but the seven pin, it's just going to be left alone. Goes with the thumb in on that particular spare. Hard and straight. Got a good game going here in the title match. Well, Watka was down early against Bowker last match. He finds himself in the same situation this match. Miller through the front three. Watka didn't double till the third and fourth frame. Then Mike sort of waited a couple frames. This to take the lead. Boy, what a confident looking player right now. Three in a row for Watka. Last year, made a couple of shows. Third and a fourth place finish. Well, Phil, a lot of confidence today. Look, you're very nonchalant about uh, that particular shot, and that's his first lead in the championship match. He's up by three pins. This to take it to a 13-pin advantage and really put a lot of pressure on Mike Miller. Got it out. And so so fortunate, only leaving the two pin. The two pin was there, the eight pin was there, and the 10 pin was there. 10 and the eight fell late. He's very pleased just to be looking at a two pin. That was, just, that was really a very poor shot on his, on his uh, side, just did not get a clean release. Easy to make the two pin. Hangs on to a two pin lead, and Dave Watka will be back to bowl against Mike Miller. Coming back in this championship match right after this. Two pins separate these two players. And two players who could show a little bit of nerves coming down the stretch. You know, it, Dave Watkins never won. It's been since 1992 since Mike Miller has. He came in line on this lane last time. That's going to get there. Solid 10. But back in the pocket. We'll take a look at the six pin, second from the right. It's gonna go right around the bottom. Actually touches the 10 pin ever so slightly, but not enough to knock it down. Those are the Brunswick Pro pins, three pounds, 10 ounces. He goes with a thumb in the ball, hard and straight. And no trouble making the 10 pin for Mike Miller. You know, the versatility of Mike Miller really, I think it lends for him to be even a better player than he's shown because he can throw the ball straight when he needs to. He can bowl with his thumb in the mm -hmm. ball and throw it hard and straight up the corner, or he can get inside without the thumb in the ball and hook the ball as much as anybody. So he really has the best of both worlds. The problem sometimes, Phil, is when to put the thumb in the ball and when to take the thumb out. <laughs> well, I think that'd be very difficult. Go back and forth. Mike Miller. Another 10 pin. Another solid 10. It's okay, he's kind of patting himself on the back. He said, well, you know, I made a good shot. Here we go again. I'm, you, all you can do is hit the pocket. Mm. And Jody Ann watching, very pretty lady who, well, she'd like to see all 10 of them fall over. Just a couple more times, please. <laughs> able to pick up the spare, so Mike Miller. Trying to hang in there right now. Dave Watka has a four-pin advantage in this tight match. And it really was the opportunity for Miller to put pressure on a man who's never won. He got up, made two great shots. Solid 10, solid 10. Really gave Watka a little bit of a reprieve. Oh! Watka's found a little bit of what we call hold. His ball is a little left of his target, but there's enough oil in the middle of the lane to hold the ball back. That ball looks a little bit high. Seven pin, the last pin to fall over. Watka, four pins up. Great reaction. Chance to make it 14 pins with a strike here on lane 45 in the eighth frame. You always look for that little bit of hold, don't you? Well, you're looking for some kind of area, whether it's left of your target or right. Will that get there? Half 10. Got to the pocket. That was the lane he left the two pin on last time, Phil. And the two pin that he left was just 
We'll just call it like I see it. It was a bad shot. That was a very, very good delivery, but the carry wasn't quite there. It's still a four-pin match with the conversion. Picks it up. Mike Miller down by four, and he is up in the eighth frame. We've had a lot of strikes, and now we're guys having to make the spares. Now, uh, Miller, Miller with a slight advantage, even though he's four pins down. He can shoot 245. Wadka, the best he can do is 239. But he needs a strike here. That's the start. Now, if he can strike on the, on the left-hand lane, Wadka will not be able to shut him out. Miller's last show, the Brunswick World Tournament of Champions in Overland Park, Kansas. He finished fourth. He's won a couple of titles. On that telecast, uh, Phil, he really didn't have much of a shot to the pocket. Today, he does have a good shot. This is opportunity to hold it in his own hands. With that strike right there, Wadka can't shut him out. Very happy Jody Ann and his son Chris jumped out of his chair when he struck on that ball. There he is. There's a good smile from the youngster. All right, Dad. Let's take a look at a very demonstrative reaction from Miller. Oh, yeah. Rocka answers in the ninth with a strike. Boy, these last two matches have been great, Phil. Just exceptional. Watka down by six pins. Chance to change that to a four-pin lead with a strike in the tenth frame. Once again, all Wadka can do is shoot 239. Miller with a possible 245. Ken Wadka came up last match through three in a row, and Bowker uh, couldn't match it. Well, he's shown that he can strike under the gun. He did it last game. Will he do it here? Oh, yeah! Kicks out that 10 pin. Not much reaction from Mike Miller. He knows how that power ball works. He throws one and a great shot. A great shot from Dave Watka. Watch the head pin. The late messenger. Little reaction. You know there's going to be one. <laughs> one of elation. And one of just, oh well, I still can't be shut out. From four pins to 14, will it be? And that, oh my gosh. Now there, there's a shot that he would love to have back. Because not only does he not get the 14 pin lead, but with the bad count, as Mike Miller looks over the scoreboard, Mike Miller may not even have to strike on this next, on his first shot in the 10th frame. Very important for Wadka to get all four of these. And he needed to at least get three of those. Now uh, Mike Miller can win it with nine spare strike. You're absolutely right, Phil. But I know Mike Miller wants to strike and just be done with it. Don't leave yourself anything you have to make and don't force you to have any pressure in the uh, second ball on the 10th. Ninth spare strike to win. Strike on this shot and he wins. Was that slow off his hand? Got it. It was, but it strikes. Uh, he needs five pins, Phil. A very, very happy Mike Miller. Five pins on this ball. It's all over. And that first ball, he goes hard and straight. That's, that's experience. That's enough. Mike Miller captures his third PBA title. And a happy family. Well, yeah. This is a winning strike. It's been since 92 since he's won. That doesn't make any difference. 232 to 223 over Dave Watka, the championship match of Thriller. High fives to everyone. Little Cal Ripken around the arena. Little hug, and we'll be back to talk to our winner, Mike Miller, once again.